The current drought that is ravaging parts of the country is expected to last until June this year. Emergency preparedness and response manager at the Kenya Red Cross, Venant Dehila, says the number of those affected by drought is also expected to increase because of suppressed rainfall. The Kenya Red Cross is warning that the country is not out of the woods yet, as the drought situation is projected to persist. The emergency preparedness and response manager at the Kenya Red Cross, Venant Ndegila, says the rainfall experience in parts of the country between the months of October and December 2022 gave false hope, as it is not adequate to ensure recovery of those affected. Uh, where the rains give an impression that uh, uh, the communities are recovering uh, because of maybe the uh, vegetation turning a little green at uh, some stage. But uh, this remains just that. They are false hope because um, truly in most of the areas the rains are not enough to ensure uh, some uh, uh, substantial, substantial recovery. Ndigila says more aid in form of food and water is required to cushion the over 4.3 million people affected across 29 counties. We expect most of those who are affected, they'll continue to be in this situation. They'll continue to, to need uh, support in terms of um, uh, life-saving support around water, uh, food. East African Community Cabinet Secretary Rebecca Miano has said the government is working towards coming up with long-term measures for sustainability and drought resilience. The government has put in place measures to help alleviate the situation. It has itself reserved some funds to procure food and to also do some cash transfers. We would want to come up with long-term measures and sustainable, resilient measures so that in future we can have water and we can have enough food despite even having a drought. The CS led the Pamoja to Ungane initiative food distribution exercise in Bamba area, Kilifi County. And we are glad to have been part of this, to distribute food in Bamba, in Kilifi, to families that have been affected by the drought situation in the country. Siku ingine kwa bahati hakuna, unaweza ukalala. Ukilala kukicha, uko mbele mbele, maji ulikama unatafuta, saile, unaenda, ukatafuta maji, kesh, kumekutu ato unaingia hapa saa kuminambili. Watoto wamelia, paka wameyamaza. The county has signed a memorandum of understanding with World Vision Kenya that will see the organization invest in water harvesting in drier parts of the county. Badala ya county kujenga mradi huu na World Vision ajenga mradi mwingine, mradi mwingine tuashirikiana ili iwe kwa kwa ukubwa zaidi, kwa upana zaidi. Na kuna tanki tayari shanunuliwa na World Vision ya ambayo inabeba lita eh, laki mbili na hamsini ili tuweze kupiga maji yaende kwa watu huko mashinani. Uh, our annual investment in, in this county is about 480 million uh, 480 million uh, Kenya shillings, uh, which if you project that into the next uh, three or four years is a significant contribution. Nancy Okwari, Lunchtime News.